Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So there's going to be a bit of an interlude in the middle uh, where a lot of important information is dropped, so please bear with that. I hope you all will understand by the end of the video. And, yeah, so the video will start momentarily. Visitor's Hotel? Okay, the the thing... The the place that I'm... Ah, there we go! I was like, it's supposed to be close by. Still great now, but must have been amazing back in 2003. I bet. Like, this this game must have been, like, super just, like, like beautiful and really, really cool. <laughs> Very eye-opening. Welcome to Manon. I'm Roland Wan. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require Change your aid. outfits. You guys look like you're, like, European banners. Uh, well, I have some questions. A beautiful place, Sato City. A paradise on the water. But These remember, two are having a cow in the back. The Selkath have absolute authority. They're a tough race, but fair. Obey the Selkath laws, keep the peace, and you should encounter no problems. I assume you received a visitor guide to the city when you docked your ship. I regret there is little I can tell you that's not in the visitor guide, my good Jedi. My duties rarely permit me to venture beyond the walls of the Republic Embassy. Jeez. It aged very well. It looks, still looks great on the Xbox. I mean, yeah, the graphics are old, but I think they, they look great. Like, they look really pretty dang good, you know, for such an old game. Why are you two constantly moving around in the background? Just calm down. Um, a mission from the Jedi Council. Maybe you could help me. Oh, of course. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic uh -huh, representative yeah, yeah, of the okay. Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. You're suspicious! Your judgment is wrong. EA specifically said no one likes single-player games. You're right, you're right. I don't actually enjoy... Play None of us, back in 2003, didn't actually enjoy it. I am currently not enjoying it. It's just uh, EA, said, EA, EA has spoken, and that's how it's going to be. I seek a star map. I maybe shouldn't be announcing this. The remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manon? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information oh, about of that, course. you'll have to do something for me first. Uh, let's try to persuade him. Come on, tell me. No, <laughs> no. You do what I want and maybe I can help you out. Until then, nothing. This is crazy back in the day, people were like, what the heck is Old Republic? And then they played it, they were like, this is exactly what I wanted. I know, right? I, I know that Bioware has hinted that uh, there's been talks, or the idea has been floated around about a third coder for remaking the old ones, but it's never come to fruition. And I'm like, if EA could just let Bioware have Star Wars again, they would be great again. You know what I mean? They wouldn't have been trusted with the rights to make all the Star Wars games if they weren't the best. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's fine. They always tell the truth. Okay, what do you want me to do, guy? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven <gasps> off by the actual sharks. sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Well, why wouldn't the Selkath be like, hey, give that droid back to the to the Republic? Because that doesn't seem like keeping the balance to let the Sith steal something from the Republic. The Selkath are crumbling under Sith, under Sith influence. It was, we were playing his back in 2003, so you miffed, miff, miff, you miffed it at the time. <laughs> Got back into them at the Oblivion. My friend, actually my friend started playing Morrowind the other day, but she's been really enjoying Oblivion as well. Shark! 
If we had a Bioware Coder 3, there would be definitely be a droid sex bot romance. That's all I've ever wanted. Bioware, make it happen. I'd buy a Coder 3 if Bioware made it. Heck, man, I just... Like, EA keeps trying to make money off of, like, MMO versions of Star Wars. And it's like, you know what people want? They want Battlefront. Like, the actual old Battlefront. So, like, just remake them. And they want cool single-player Star Wars games. Like, why is this so hard to understand? Where is the droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. This feels like Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, the rules. and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retreating. So you want me to break that the rules? That is what we would ask you to do. I'm still a Republic member, so we'll, if I get caught, we'll all get in trouble. I think someone agrees the original battle. Well, that's all people want! Like... If you can remake the originals and then maybe make a good, like, new one, that'd be fine. But, like, all people want is a remake of the old ones at this point. There is a Sith base, and therefore we are going to break into it. It's a law of physics. It's a law of science. It's a law of the universe. If there is a Sith base, I and my Jedi Tushy are going to break into it. How do I get into the Sith base? <laughs> there are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you. Although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access am that I? way. Am I? Maybe I am. The Sith have got the Seltcaf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, Ooh. it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered Thank you and for killed. the hint. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. Thank you. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Uh, I'll interrogate... I don't know, man. Why don't I decide now? Okay, I can try different methods. Hello, Flaming Taco. Coder 3 was canceled. Uh, uh, you, you, I know you're... What? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure what I've seen of is not me. So, I've been dreading this part for a while, and as the video goes on for the next few minutes, there'll be a little bit more explanation, but as is the risk for playing a game live, this is where a major plot point for the end game, a major twist point that those of you who have played will know what it is, it's the biggest one as far as I'm aware, um, that I'm not going to say just in case people are watching this who haven't seen it and don't want to be spoiled, um, but yes, the, one of the major plot points at the end was spoiled for me. Um, and I was trying really hard to keep it together, to keep it cool, but I was really upset about it, um, and so I understand if the rest of you are upset. I realize that a twist such as it is, that I, what I know of it, I don't really know how it happens, um, or, or how it works out, you know, but, um, such a thing would have been really, really cool to see, for those of you who have seen it, to see it blind, to see a person react to it blind this long after the game's been out. But to be fair, the fact that I hadn't already been spoiled for it just in everyday life was kind of, you know, a miracle. And uh, this this account that spoiled it is literally a troll account that's been bound. They created banned. They created a second account, and I banned that one as well. Um, so yeah. Anyway, it was a really it was not a good day at the end of the day with this. Um, I kept. I kept it cool and it was fine um, at the time, but nobody is more disappointed than I am. I understand if the rest of you are disappointed. Fortunately, there's nothing I can do about. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it at this point. So I do understand um, if you don't want to watch anymore because it's no longer. It's blind in that I don't know how the rest of the game is gonna play out or how the spoiler is gonna work or how that's gonna play out. But I do know one of the big twists for the end. So. 
for those of you who are watching for that and, you know, are, are upset, I understand. I really do. And I am more upset than anybody else. But, you know, I'm still enjoying the game. I still want to play it. I actually, I think later on in this episode, I will, I will ask those uh, the people who I was streaming with, like if I should continue playing. Like, I got kind of down, you know. I was like, is it? Should I even keep playing? But then I was like, well, yeah, I, I should because there's so much more of the game I haven't played, and I do want to know how everything works. And it's a fun game. And I do promise that, like, while I may be down for a bit, there's another, there's a couple episodes coming up in a, in an episode or two that are really, really fun. And it was really great to have such a good time after, you know, being really disappointed with being spoiled. So, again, though, this was a risk I was, I knew that was gonna, you know, it was a risk, and I accepted that. And so, you know, I moved past, but, you know, still, you know, I was, I was, I was very disappointed, but in the end of the day, I'm still going to finish the game because it's a phenomenal game and I want to know how everything works out. So, but again, I understand those of you who maybe don't want to watch anymore because you're not going to get the like really crazy reaction or whatever for a complete, you know, spoiler free ending for me. I understand. I really do. And I don't blame you, you know, if, if your involvement, you know, you want, you're like, oh, well, maybe I'll go elsewhere, you know, which is totally fine. I totally get it. Um, but if you still want to stick around, I've still had a really good time playing the game. And I'm sorry this little interlude has taken so long, but I felt like it need, it deserved its own little interlude because it was a rather big thing. But the, during the rest of this episode, there are a little bit more, there's a few more moments where, like, you know, I end up banning the guy. I don't really know why I didn't ban him immediately, but um, I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt that it was maybe somebody young. But it ended up just being a troll account, um, and they have a friend who has a troll account. And then they make another troll account. So it's a lot of drama, but uh, we end up getting rid of them eventually. So um, anyway, again, I'm just going to say, if those of you who are, you know, kind of done watching at this point, I appreciate you sticking with it this long. I really do. Uh, because this was a very sporadic upload, you know, schedule for this series and everything. And uh, But it's been really fun. And I do appreciate your support up until now. And those of you who want to stick around, I, I appreciate you more than you know. Um, it's been a fun game, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the other things I haven't seen yet. There's so much of this game I haven't seen yet, and so I'm really looking forward to that. But I hope you all can stick around. Um, but if you if you if you would rather move on, I understand. And thank you all, all of you, every single one of you, for putting up with how sporadic this series has been. And I will, I guess, I don't really know how to end this interlude, <laughs> but I yeah, it was it was hard, but we've moved on and. And I'm looking forward to playing the rest of the game. So hopefully you all can stick with me. And uh, the actual video will be back in a moment. Right, right. But yeah, no, they were going to make one. And then, and then EA was like, no, we don't like money. Uh, let me try to decrypt the past card. I don't know if I'm good at decryption, but I can try. Good choice. We've been working at that for a while, but it's been too difficult so far. Maybe you'll have better my, luck. I wish you luck in your task. My face. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Uh, why would you say that, Flaming Taco? Like, why would you say, do you know... Do you know that you're a major spoiler? Like, if that's actually a spoiler, it sounds a little ridiculous to me, but I don't know why you would go in and ask if somebody knows and then state a major spoiler. That seems kind of rude. You could say, have you played the game before? That would be a much better way to go about it. Let's see. Of course I didn't know. You think it's possible you still think EA wants Spider to make Dragon Age 4? Um, Flaming, if you're gonna keep saying spoilers, I'm gonna have to ban you. You have, like, one more chance. But if you don't stop, I'm gonna ban you. Let's 
Let's see if we can find the encryption. No, what? No, well, where's the, where did he, did he say where it was at? East courtyard. Where's the encryption y thing that I'm supposed to be working on? Maybe in the computer room? So you're the Whoa! one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. Good luck. You're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. <laughs> terminal sequence? What the frick? <laughs> the strings of numbers that end the code sequences. If we could complete those strings, we would have the key to their encryption system. The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. Well, the second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix, and I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Robo said you were oh, cleared, no. you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Oh no, you accidentally banned Assassin! It's okay, I'm just gonna report the guy. I know it doesn't really do anything, but... I'm gonna report him! And then I'm gonna block him! Asshole. What's the reason he's an asshole? I don't know. I mean, I knew this was a risk. I knew it was a risk. Uh, I, well, I don't... The things he was saying don't really make any sense to me, but... You know, it is what it is. He literally... Oh, he literally made an account, like four days ago or two days ago it's just a troll account no it doesn't I know it doesn't actually fix the problem but it makes it so at least I can't see anything else he's saying but I thought all I had to do is click on his name to ban him but hopefully poor Larry hopefully Larry can ban flaming taco now Welcome back! No, no, assassin, it was an accident. Larry accidentally clicked the wrong mess, the wrong person. Hey! He keeps trying to talk and I can't see it. <laughs> Yay! Now we've banned the correct one. Thank you, Larry. I don't actually know how to ban people, so thank you. Me need I know, I should I should know maybe, but you know. I told you guys it was a risk playing this online live. And I knew the risks. I gotta be, I gotta be, gotta be real though. It really doesn't make any sense to me what he was saying. So at least there's that. Uh, decrypt the Sith passcode. Oh, did I? No, no. Wait, did I do it? No. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was just being an asshole. Like, straight up, you know? So, he literally... I checked, I like, clicked his name. He literally made the, uh... He made his account, like, two days ago. So, he's literally just a troll account. Don't worry about it. He won't worry about it. One, two, four, seven... 16, 22? Uh, yeah, 22? Did I do it? Okay. 21, 18, 16, 15, 16, 18? Whoa. 
Yeah. Yeah, he tried to spoil. Thirty-two, sixty-four. One twenty-eight, sixty-four, thirty-two, four, one. I hope I'm doing this right. And that's why you have mods. Yep. That is why I have mods. One thirty-two, eighty-one, sixty-four, twenty. Oh, this one's weird. Um, Yeah. He isn't a troll. Forgot his email and he's a bro. No, he's a troll. Dragon. You know, he purposefully came in and, like, not only said one spoiler, but then proceeded to spoil, like, tried to spoil three other things. Things, or just make things up. He's a troll. You can make one mistake, but then when you purposefully try to do more things that I already knew and one of which I think is actually a lie, that's a troll. Yeah, that wasn't, yeah, no, it's just a troll account. I'm so, I'm sorry, yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, I don't know. He just, I don't know why. You would maybe know better than I would. <laughs> Shoot, I'm just, uh, this one, the other ones were pretty easy. This one, I don't know. Uh, five. One. Two, three. Two, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a textbook. Yep. Yeah, yeah, no. Don't worry about it, though, guys. It happens. I'm gonna guess three. I maybe did it right. <laughs> Ten minus 83. What? Logarithmic matrix, terminal sequence pairs. 10, 83, 32, 5, 3, 2, 1. What? This doesn't make any sense. Uh. Well, do you want me to stop playing now? Is it pointless? I was playing it, I was playing a Jedi dragon. Is it is it totally ruined for you now, Rain, and everybody? Cause I'm still looking forward to playing it, but still a fun game. All right. I just don't know if you guys if you guys are still if you guys are gonna be all sad about it, which I get it. I'm a little bummed, but it's an old game. I have no idea. Eight. Darn it. Dang it. Again? Okay, so it was just, I just had that one wrong. 18. 64. Am I trying to get the codes? Yeah, I'm trying to get the codes for the base. Okay. There's a ton more of the game to play no matter what's happened, and the replayability is good. Good, good. The story is still great. You have coded. Yeah, I only know, like, a big plot twist at the end. 
Uh, yes, please ban him as well, too, Larry. It's the same guy. He's just, uh, on a different account. And no, he lost any chances to be able to hang out in here. So, too bad for him. Um... I guess right on this one. What did I guess last time? I don't know, I guess eight, I think, last time. 10, 83, 32, 5, 28, 128. Uh, I'm just gonna, nope, okay. Three, one more time. How many of these are there? 18, 64, two. Uh, oh yeah, I guessed, oh my gosh, should I guess three on this one? Okay, good. Six. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's the first one. 22, 18, 64, 2, uh, 3, 5. What? I guess all of them! Okay, well that didn't work. None of the options worked. It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. But this isn't me spiking. This is a spiking the republic system. I don't want to do that. I don't want to spike the republic system. Dang it. Why did I not guess all of them on that? What are my other options? There was one where I just had to storm the base, which I don't want to do because that's over and I need to obey the rules of the planet. There was also interrogating the prisoner. I could attempt to do that. Which, the prisoner was over here. Am I wearing... Which one is this? Wisdom? Is wisdom... I'll put that back on for now. I don't know if wisdom actually helps. I don't think it helps. My persuasion, but... Computer use, demolition, security... Nope, nope. You used to do this right, you can't remember how to do the computer? Yeah, we'll see. What? Why can't I talk to him? Oh, I gotta talk to this guy, I guess. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will Crap. come useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able He's to He's, like, him. right inside the front bay area, too. Like, all the Selkath had to do is, like, walk in the first set of doors, and they'd see them interrogating a Sith prisoner. I don't want to just storm the hangar. That's the, that's the last option. Hopefully I don't require... It doesn't require me to use the actual, like, force powers persuasion. Hopefully it's just persuasion. I I actually can't remember what class I am. I think I'm a guardian. Uh, let me try this interrogation first, Rain, and then I'll then I'll do then I'll see if I need it help with the code. What did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect okay. them. Okay. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Uh, yeah. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. 
He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's oh, married to a woman crap. named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems oh, to wow. hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Destro, thank you so much for the raid. Thanks. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> I hope it's a nice raid. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. Were you playing? Were you playing the Star Wars as well? That's that. That's what I assume. Oh, it's a good day for it. Oh yeah, no spoilers. You were very kind and good people. Hopefully, <laughs> we just had a bad experience with somebody. So, I hope so. <laughs> Hello, Pistol. Welcome, you guys from from Destro's raid. Welcome. Okay, what do I have? Okay, but the guy's got married. He's married. So that's like um. I don't know, that seems very, like, sketchy. Like, that seems very Sith-like to try to use his, like, marriage against him. What do I have to work with? What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Uh-oh. Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the Holy truth cow. serum. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. Your community likes to make fun of you? That's perfect. You're playing Coder too. No, thank you. Thank you for not spoiling. It's okay. We already had probably the biggest plot twist spoiled, but you know. <laughs> uh, I'm still going to play through it. Yeah, I'm hoping I got gifted Coder 2 recently, actually, and I'm trying to get through so I can play Coder 2, but I gotta finish Coder 1 first. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, drawback, I detect a pattern here. It causes short-term memory loss. This may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and Holy over. Holy cow! But if you use it too much, you may forget everything This sounds like know. a very... Shall we get it started sticky then? Sticky situation. <laughs> hey, you, wake up. Someone wants to talk to you. <sighs> the way they're bullying you, it's so uh, it's adorable. <laughs> Their bullying is adorable. <laughs> oh crap. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him first. Uh, what do you want? What do you want? Uh, I'm not here to threaten you. You're not. <laughs> you lies. You work for the Republic. Nice! Oh my gosh! You got gifted Coder 1 and go to Coder 2! That's the best! That's the best! Oh man, actually, let's be real, I got gifted Coder 1 as well. I think Rain is the one who gifted me Coder 1 and Coder 2. <laughs> so, which is super cool because I'm actually playing a D&D campaign that's Star Wars themed. So I've definitely been wanting to like get more into Star Wars like old lore and stuff. It's been really fun. Best gift anyone could ask for. Sure, sure, sure. Of course. We're the only ones who will take you in now. If you talk, we can make it worth your while. I don't want to hurt you unless you make me. Let's see. Hmm. I feel like this is probably the better option. Like, if he's got any sort of loyalty, money isn't going to be worth it to him. Threats aren't going to work. I'll try this one. We're the only ones who will take you in. The Sith will never trust you again. Shut Sky. up, man! We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. <gasps> no! I will never betray them. Your Republic is weak and will soon fall at any rate. I wonder if any of these persuasions will work. Let's see. Had a blast of Coder 1 and you're currently enjoying Coder 2 as well. I hear, I hear Coder 2 is even better than Coder 1 and I'm greatly enjoying Coder 1, so I look forward to it. Uh, if you can make it worth your while? Ha, oh! Worth my while. The Sith don't pay very well, but they'd kill me. Uh, I don't want to hurt you unless... It, what? 
Should I keep trying to, to, to persuade or no? And we're gonna leave it off there in the middle of the interrogation, which isn't super ideal, but it was what worked out timestamp wise. But once again, if you all made it to the end of the video, uh, especially this video in particular, I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope that if you've made it to the end of the video, <laughs> this particular video, you'll be able to stick with me through the rest of the series that I, I do look forward to playing. And I was been dreading editing this episode because it brings back all the sort of unhappiness. But also at the very end, as you probably noticed, we got our first raid. I think it was I think it was actually my first raid ever by Destro, uh, Destro underscore FTW. I think is is their name on Twitch. So. Uh, they're very nice. They they do raids on me occasionally, and it's really nice. It's just it's mostly like a hosting thing, but like it's really nice. So go check them out as well. Uh, them and their community have been very nice uh, to us, and it, it was unfortunate that this happened right after a bad incident. So I was like suspicious of everything, but in the end, it was really fun to have them. So anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next one.